Alrighty, hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ, and today we are doing an install on some quadlock items. Four over here. I purchased these prior on my own. I also have four more boxes. They're on my Ducati. Three over here. One, two, three. Handlebar mount, universal phone adapter, vibration dampener, were provided by Quadlock. I reached out to them. No charge. I reached out because I told them I had spent about $200, $300 on mounts prior. A, I got a charger there. I upgraded to a wireless mount with a dampener. I also have another arm, which the box is in here, and two more cases for an iPhone and a Galaxy Note 20 Plus Ultra. Um, I also have a black dial on these, so I spent $300 on them. Um, that said, we've got some more new installs here for the Street Twin. So let's get right to it. Thanks Quadlock for the three items right here. Much appreciated. Thanks for supporting the channel. Alright, first the handlebar mount. Grip sizes, 28, 22, 25, tool, Allen wrench, L wrench, and clicker. Daphner. Instruction book. Also got the dampener and another little Allen wrench, which we won't need. This I'll put on another time, because I already have a phone with it on. Wait, here, it's the case. Same thing. This just sticks on the back of any case you want. This is a case for the phone. The thing I like about quad lock. Is that blue Loctite's already applied? I'm gonna bring these over to the bike and see which fits. So let's go over. All right, we're back at the 2023 twin. Just gonna see which of these fits. The bars. I think it's the seven and the eight, but I might be wrong. Way too big. This is seven twenty seconds. Might be a little too small, it might be perfect actually. It says 22 millimeters. I need to get a screw and undo this. So all I'm doing is taking this, loosening it so I can turn, then I'm loosening this right here. Same, same L shaped. Let's see if we can get the focus. Oh, there we go. Same L shaped Allen wrench. They can include everything. So I'm opening this up. I'm gonna see if this 25 fits the bar. It's also got Loctite on it, which once again I love. So you guys can see Loctite on that. Okay, this opens up. Let's see. That I think is too big. So that tells me we're going with the smallest. So I'm with 22 on this build. Yeah, that seems right to me. Okay. So I'm going to face this, fit this wherever I want. I feel like right there is the spot. Looks pretty good to me. Screwing. Hopefully, you guys are able to see this. I have to. Tighten that. Yep, that's the one. Mm -hmm. 
that's good to me. I'm gonna put some weight on it. Nothing's moving. Now this I gotta work this time whether I want it like that, like that, or like that. I'm thinking like right that. That looks pretty good to me. Can't hit anything. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's the way we're doing it. Alright. So, from the arm extension, handle bar mount, these are the parts I didn't use. Now, if I were installing the uh, USB charger or the wireless mount, that would go uh, after the vibration mount, which is this, the dampener. The dampener has screws inside. I like symmetrical, so I'm probably going to leave it, maybe, let's see, like that. There we go. So I'm tightening the bolt that holds the dampener in the middle of the dampener. So far everything's strong. Dampener is good. Well, I just want to illustrate I do have their USB mount, um, and I used it on my bike prior, but I'm not going to use it on this one because I already have a pigtail for battery tender, and I already have a USB in this bike under the seat, so I can just wire a USB. I don't need this directly here to make it bulkier. And this one was bought with my own money, so quite a lot didn't provide it. Um, I'll probably use it on another build at some point. Final piece is this. I changed out the blue handlebar for the black, added the screw in, and it goes. I gotta decide whether I want it like that like that. We'll see. So that's going to go like that. Want it directly in center. Tightening it. Don't want to over tighten either of these because this is what locks the phone in place. That's pretty much the full install, if you guys can see. It doesn't look symmetrical here because we're at an angle, but I promise you it is. Push this down, let's test. So once again, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Already had a quad lock case. Gonna push this down. Snapped, right in place. Gonna sit on this bike and hopefully not knock over the camera. <laughs> Can't turn the wheel because it's in lock, but it's not blocking anything. Pretty good. Let me get you guys a POV. So that, imagine that's straight on. If I don't want to unlock it, I'm just going to push, turn, up. If I wanted to block my instrument panel, all I gotta do is push down vertical. That's the full install, vibration mount, everything. It's pretty clean, I think. This is going to be used with the iPhone, so this vibration mount is needed. That's how I installed on the bar. If you have you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Once again, it's your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ. Until next time, thumbs up. If you like this, the more likes, the more you subscribe, the more I can get stuff like this. Thanks again, guys.